Well, President Trump promising to get even tougher on immigration, pledging to do away with the primary ways that people come here from other countries. We will get rid of chain migration and the visa lottery program. We have a lottery program where we take in a lottery people from other countries. In some places, we are bringing in some very bad, bad people. So how is Congress responding to those calls from the president? GOP Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee joins us now. Great to have you with us today. Good to be with you. Okay, so how is Congress going to tackle this? Will there be any bipartisan movement on these big issues? I would hope that there would be. The RAISE Act is something that would address the lottery uh, and the chain migration issues. And this is one of the things that we know. It's time to move to a merit-based system. Uh, Canada uses it. This is something that we should do. We're a country that recognizes merit. So let's move to that. Okay, well, the Archbishop of Miami, I want to play um, uh, or put up a little bit of a, a, a quote that we have from him, or what he says about this and the, the fact that we need to move forward. He says, derisive comments on chain migration forget that a foundational principle of our immigration law has long been to help reunite families. He says that's a principle that we work on, but this principle has been seriously eroded in recent years and administration officials seem to be poised to make it worse. You know, they're going to clean the system up. It is time to make certain that we change the way people come here. And look at what recently happened in New York, the last two occurrences there, the visa lottery and chain migration. So let's stop it. We know where this is happening. We know where the weaknesses are, the vulnerabilities are. And we also know that it's a fairness issue. Move to a merit system, set up a point system, and then let's make certain that we are bringing the best of the best that are wanting to come in and that we are ending this process of chain migration. Let me ask you on this other illegal legal immigrant story that we've been covering right before this yeah. about this, um, these growing number of legal ca cases that we see where underage uh, teenagers yeah. are coming across the border and seeking abortions here in the U.S. The ACLU is mounting a, a larger legal assault on that and say they want to make sure these women who are here have access to abortion even if they're underage. Right. And this is one of those things where we have to say they're here illegally. They are not entitled to these services and it is inappropriate. And when I talked to my constituents in Tennessee, they talked about, about this as fairness. Uh, we do not use taxpayer dollars to fund abortion, and they don't want it to ha take place with those that are here illegally. Well, in the last case I know that we had, um, there was some confusion about who was funding the abortion, the case that happened in October. Her right. attorney said that there was somebody stepping up to help with the funding. We never really got a clear answer on that. I also want to ask you about, you chaired for a year the select panel that looked okay. into Planned Parenthood, whether or not they were trafficking at all in body parts of aborted fetuses. Um, and now you have news that the DOJ and FBI are investigating based on what you found. That's exactly right. Our panel did a tremendous amount of work. We did 15 criminal referrals, 11 to state's attorneys general, and four were to federal, to the DOJ, and now we find out that between DOJ and the FBI, they're taking up all 15. And looking at what has transpired between the abortion clinics and these third party sellers of the baby body parts. So we're pleased that that investigation's moving forward. Well, Planned Parenthood, as you know, has denied any wrongdoing, any right. criminal wrongdoing in the case. So we'll watch and see how these cases proceed. Absolutely. Thank you. Very much for coming Thank you. In Merry Christmas. And to you too.